update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida, with your 2 p.m. update. Currently, we have all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. It's mean and green. You got the Dow up 664, 2%. SP 73 bucks, nearly 2%. NASDAQ 100, 1.5%, 100, 170 points. Russell's up 21, 1 and 2 tenths percent out there. Gold's up 10 bucks. Silver, 11 pennies. Lights recruit up a buck. Natural gas up 54 pennies. And a 30 year treasury trading out of 140 and 10, 30 seconds out there. That's back one and a half points. So actually, if you take a look at Apple, and the reason you're going to take a look at Apple is because I've got it up on my screen out there. What do you see? What you see is right now you see a confirmed buy the D point pattern. Why? Because we've got that nice little bull sash candle after an A to B equals C to the downside. No new profiles or anything in place. This would suggest price wants to go target the 149.87 level. Speaking of A to B equals CD patterns, let's put this chart up here, and you can take a look at six of the primary indices, the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ. That's your top panel. Lower panels, Russell, the semis, and the New York Stock Exchange. What you see out there are a bunch of A to B equals CD patterns. So you've got that in place. And now what we'll do is we'll go take a look at those white background charts so you can kind of get a feel for everything. So what did we see? We saw an A to B equals CD inside the Dow. You've got a bull sash candle. You're trading above the oscillator and change line right now. The Dow is giving you a bottom signal as we speak at 2.01 in the afternoon. The S&P 500, an A to B equals CD to the downside is completed. You've got a uh, bull sash candle here. Price above its oscillator and change line. You're getting a signal of at least bouncing back to the 4100 level, if not higher than that. The NASDAQ 100 has not given us the bullish reversal candle that we need to confirm its bottom. The Russell 2000 has wave number seven. It did that a week and a half ago, so it's got to confirm firm bottom. On Friday, the semiconductor index confirmed or generated a bullish hammer candle. If you may recall, there was an A to B equals CD that we uh, had there as well. That is complete. Prices above its oscillator and change line. That suggests a rally back into the 3100 level out here. The transports, they're in a world of all to themselves out there. I don't have any signal there. The NASDAQ composite is in wave number seven, but really it's that Rhodesmentum indicator signal. If it could create a bullish reversal candle, you'd have a Rhodesmentum indicator bottom there, much like you do inside the New York Stock Exchange, which last Friday generated that roads momentum indicator signal. So it should be rally on. Uh, and the rally, quite frankly, will last for at least two weeks up there, but certainly two days. Hey, folks, stay tuned. We've got great programming lined up for you. Awesome. Have a magical, marvelous, magnificent.